here. Some people just really can't hug some. Sin, can you? <laughs> <laughs> some people start stroking out when they read a line. <laughs> And welcome to GT Not Live, where we're still not live, but we are multiplying. Right? We're there's, still hanging out. There's more of us on the couch. Uh, I, you so know, many of us. There's just like a zillion of us I, here. Yes, I actually have filled the void the that you've fam. left on the couch by multiplying Pikachu <laughs> trifold. It's you had big shoe. You left a big shoe to fill. Oh. Or, or should oh. I? Oh. Or should I say? You left a, a butt groove in the couch that had to be filled, and so that was, Pikachu filled it in. It was a big one. Yeah, I get it. Big I get butt it. groove in the couch that had to be filled, so I had to get a Gigachu to do it. <laughs> that it's it, you know, it's about the same size rear end. If we're honest. <laughs> Honestly. Uh, okay. Probably weighs about the same too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're here. We're back. We're playing yes. GDLC, the well, new the new stuff. We're we're still here. We're still I, here. Since I had Stephanie on the couch, and I'm like, hey, I've got you. Can I get you for another hour here? And I was like, pshaw, but you only have 40 minutes until you have to go pick up our kids. So yeah, so can, can I get 40 you for another 40 minutes, minutes instead yeah. of an hour? So we're no, no pussyfooting around. We play DDLC. This is DDLC Plus. There's a lot of exciting stuff. Last time we left off, we did our first round of poetry. We looked into the meta stuff that's going on. Yes. And we unlocked a side story. So that's what we're going to actually hop into yeah, here. So we're gonna, we're going to start it. with the side stories, which I'm very excited about. Yes! So excited. So okay. this is completely new. Oh my gosh. And yet so familiar. Indeed. The whole side story is us just walking down the empty street. Yep. <gasps> cool. Okay. A nice, a nice survey. Oh, this is Soccer a new tryout, section. Bake sale. Yeah, Have you ever right? seen that no, background? I don't think that's, so. I, I, that's a new background, I isn't think, it? I, yeah, right. I think that is new. Hey, okay. Okay, everyone. The literature club is starting. Let's all have a seat and take attendance, okay? Blech. Ugh. Oh, my nausea is just overtaking me. Already. I miss debate club. Who knew it would be so difficult to start a new club? I feel worse with every day that passes without anyone coming in. I'm really starting to lose confidence. Monica's the only member of the literature club. In the days that have passed, all of her efforts to recruit new members have been fruitless. Am I going about am I going about this wrong? Monica glances at one of her flyers. The headline is, "Do you like literature?" Maybe nobody is into literature enough to pick it over another over their other club interests. It's true. I, I, for me, literature is maybe like Number two. I was gonna say it's three or four for me. Whoa, three or four, wow. Yeah, behind behind chess and quiz bowl and you know. <laughs> chess and quiz bowl. Literature, solid, solid two. I was a math guy. I was in math competition. Oh nice. You were a mathlete? I was a math elite. Nice. Yeah. I just can't rely on people liking literature. I need to sell them on a vision. A vision. Man, she's becoming the Steve Jobs of Literature Club. But what kind of vision? Monica rests her head on her desk, deep in thought. How about hot girls? But before she realizes it, the recent nights of staying up too late start to catch up to her. It's so quiet, and the noise of the air conditioner is soothing. She falls asleep. <gasps> um, hello? Oh, Sayori. Oh, is Sayori her dream? Suddenly, a voice causes Monica to snap awake. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, I never do this. <laughs> ah, is this the napping club? No. No, this is. Monica pauses, suddenly embarrassed to admit that this is, in fact, the literature club. This is the literature club. Yay, I thought I got it wrong for a sec. I, I'm super sorry, it was like so unprofessional of me to do that. Don't apologize, I do that all the time. I'm kind of an idiot. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Sometimes you speak your thoughts that should probably stay in your head. <laughs> um, did I miss the club meeting? Where is everybody? Well, about that, this is everybody. Really? Just you? 
but we're getting more members. I'm working really hard on it. Uh, hold on a sec. If it's just you, Blech. that means I get to be vice president. Wait, vice president? Um, uh, what are your qualifications? Doesn't matter, because it's going on the college application resume. Sure is. Boom! Vice president of the lit- Oh, tell me about oh. that role. Oh, yes. I was a very instrumental member in the comings and goings of the literature club. Yeah. We had- we oh, I oversaw all the members I made daily sure, activities. I made sure the literature club was truly lit. It was actually, Ooh. when I was done with it, it was Ooh. the lit no, literature club. No, no, don't try to save it either. Just, no, you're, I no. wasn't saving it. I was no. just continuing. No, just, no. <laughs> no. The lit get, get. Last time we played Ooh. that game, that wasn't even a thing. You didn't really call things lit. It, it started now, here. This is the this game that started it. Right? It put lit into the cultural vernacular. <sighs> I'm so glad. I'm so glad to be a part of that moment. Hey, Steph, do you know what a proboscis is? Yeah, it's a okay. nose. Just curious. <laughs> what am I, this stupid? This feels like an attack. <laughs> <laughs> I am not alone oh. in not knowing what a proboscis is. You're not, but I definitely no, not, overheard yeah. that conversation yesterday while you guys were oh, filming. Okay, it's fair fine. Enough. Okay, but okay. A I did know that a proboscis monkey is one with a big nose, and your proboscis is your nose. Well, I, I'm a bit sensitive about my nose, so I know yeah. all the ways the of terminology. talking about it. Yeah. Well, do you know what drip is? See, there you go. A, as in a drip, as in a person who is kind of lame, See, or you. drip, as in a a small amount of liquid that has fallen off of something. Well, so we both know things that the other person doesn't know then. <sighs> yeah, because I'm so interested in whatever your definition of that word that I already know like six <laughs> definitions to. <laughs> is. <laughs> wow, salt. <laughs> No, tell me now. Now I'm curious. No, now you have no, to tell no, me. No, literature. It's fine. Oh, get out of here. Literature calls, okay. guys. Literature calls. <sighs> Well, I'm better at napping than you. Maybe I should be president. Now you're just making fun of me. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Um, what was your name? Sayori. Okay, Sayori. I've been trying really, really hard on this club. Really hard. I printed out five whole flyers. I know you caught me at a weird time, but it's really disheartening to not be taken seriously, you know? I care so much about this. I just want to find other people who do, too. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. I do care, I promise. I have a hard time being serious, that's all. I love the fact that Monica's desperate for members and is immediately trying to kick people out. Right. I didn't mean for it to hurt you. I actually think it's a great character trait to build in. It, like, she's no, so, she's too, such a control freak. Yeah. And she's so selfish that she can't. It's great. She can't, like, accept members when no one else will join. Right. And I was just joking about the vice president thing, too. I would have made a terrible vice president. I mean, I'm sure that... Monica uh, tries to say something reassuring, but it's difficult when she still doesn't know much about Sayori. I'm sorry that this isn't like a real club yet. Would you still be interested in joining after I find a few more members, at least? Well, no. I want to join now. Really? <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> I have literally no clue what I'm doing in this club, but it's great, we're, we're cool. Besides, I can tell how hard you've been working. I saw that you printed out five whole flyers for this. Yeah, there were several pieces of paper. What did you have to do? What is working hard She's in reading, this okay? Reading, she's deciphering, liter, she's, she's. They don't even the do words. that. They produce poems. I know. They, hey, and read each other's poems. High school's hard. But yeah. they're 18, so they're almost done with it, okay? <laughs> they are of legal age. Don't forget. This might be college. <laughs> Probably should be, honestly. Right? Okay. You're doing something amazing and you should be proud of it, you know? So let me help you turn on, turn something successful into something fun. Stressful into something Stressful. It's <laughs> something successful. Oh, something. I'm blacking out because I'm losing so much air. If nothing else, I'm good at that. So... Ah ha ha ha. Honestly, how could I possibly say no to that? That's really sweet of you, Sayori. Oh, I'm Monica, by the way. Monica! That's such a cool name! Oh, and now you're just trying to cheer me up. But you're smiling! Well, I didn't say it didn't work. Monica glances at the flyer on her desk and realizes that her name is already written on it. So, what do we do first? Well, it's getting pretty late, isn't it? 
We can go home and try to come up with some new ideas to recruit club members. I can do that! Cool. And I think I need to put some more thought into my vision for the club. You know, like a mission. My mission is to make everyone happy while I'm really depressed on the inside. <laughs> Again, one of those moments where you're saying out loud the thing that you might oh, want to keep did inside. That slip yeah, out? I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, something like that. I need to think about it. Hey, do you like hugs? Oh. I guess so. Sari suddenly pulls Monica into a friendly hug and then let's go. Oh. I, I totally stand. thought that there was going to be a graphic here where they where, where their where their chests are like smushed together. I thought that was going to I thought that that was the whole point of that line so that there could be like a suggestive picture of these very Man, 18 and up Stephanie girls. Stephanie is taking this into a very mature No, direction. I'm just saying, there are some... Right, Matt, you and I are no, nowhere close I to will, that. I will remind you of the scene in the original game where Sayori's vest happens to pop open because her heaving bosoms were too large to keep it buttoned. I would okay? like to abstain from any conversation using the words heaving bosoms. <laughs> I don't want to be a part of this. Well, I don't want to use the word <laughs> drip, okay? <laughs> what does drip mean? It means it means cool, cool outfit. Or cool really? Because if someone is a drip, they're usually considered I, I, kind of like a wet mop. Yeah, you know? I, I like that Stephanie's catching up on like the last two months of conversations that we've had. It's great. Wow, this is all you've talked about. Jeez. Like, kind of, yeah. Huh? <laughs> We educate each other. You're drip. So do, we, do you say that you are drip or wow that looks drip? <laughs> it's like a it's like a noun. Like, it's like a noun. Like, oh, you, you're new, drip. You're new drip. drip. Like I got new. I got new drip. Yeah, there you go. Like if I got Your new a drip really is awesome fly. Like, thing. Drip alert. You know? Wow. Oh, okay. New drip alert. Wow. Matt's never used that with me, so I guess I don't. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Because he knows that you would think that you were. He was insulting you. Because you, as an old person, mm. think that it's it's a, a nerdy term. I'm but it's an actually oldie, not. but a goodie. Here. Some people just really can't hug some. Sin, can you? <laughs> <laughs> some people start stroking out when they read a line. <laughs> <laughs> some people can really just. Oh my god. Sometimes words just aren't the way that they should be. Trust me, as someone who records the scripts, I understand. Some people can just really use a hug sometimes. Yeah! Clap and a half to Stephanie. Dan Salvato <laughs> for this <him>. writing. <laughs> Besides! Sari whispers loudly. Hug energy is what keeps me at my best. At my best. <laughs> uh, hug energy? Monica laughs. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Although Sayori is very different from her, Monica feels her spirits lifted. Maybe it's just because she finally found another club member, but... Well, I'm looking forward to tomorrow then. It'll be fun. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm gonna think really hard tonight how to get about how to get more people. Yeah, me too. ba da ba ba da ba A day passes and the time comes for the literature club, Monica and Sayori, to reconvene as president Monica ensures that she's the first to arrive to the club room, but she finds herself waiting longer than expected for Sayori. Oh, Sayori goes, sir. It's been 10 minutes already. Maybe Sayori changed her mind about joining? No, that can't be. She was so excited yesterday. But I'm getting kind of worried. Suddenly Sayori comes bounding through the door. In her hand, she's holding a sheet of paper. Sorry I'm late, I'm here. It's okay, welcome back. And... Sari spins over to Monica and deposits the sheet onto Monica's desk. Oh, what's this? Take my hand. Take my hand, take me forward. Take me to your dreamland. Caution me to watch my step so I can't, so I can't look back at my footprints. Climb the stairs ahead of me while I look up to you. The more I look forward, the more I look up, the more I can lend to you. If you can trust me to follow your pace, I'll trust you to set it. If you can trust me to lend you a smile, I'll trust you to return it. 
take my hand, take me forward, take me to your dreamland. <laughs> I like that it became a song in the final line it there. Did. Just the last one. <laughs> that was nice. It was very, very creative. Poetry expert Matt. I, the inflection that you read with snaps for that. It really does. Snaps, 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 snaps. For Sayori. Snaps for Snaps Sayori. for Sayori. Snaps for you. I didn't like this one. No, this one. Yeah. I didn't. I, I mean. Y'all are haters. Artists. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. I know. Artist subjective. This, I'm this, sorry. This screams... I'm sorry for offering constructive crit. Be offering criticism does not necessarily mean you're a hater. This screams codependence. Well, y'all just said it was bad. You didn't give any feedback. I said it wasn't my favorite. No. You're backtracking. No, I'm yeah, not. You are. Rewind you are, literally 30 seconds. Oh my god. I'm owning my opinion. Well, no, welcome I'm, to the problem I'm totally being a hater. It. Okay. Own it, man. I, I, I can offer constructive. It, it's a fictional character. Since when has that mattered? We're moving on. Do you re, do you even remember Sans's Ness? Both fictional characters. <sighs> Please just read. Hey, this is really good. She's lying too. You wrote this, Sayori? Of course! Wait. Oh wait, no, that's the wrong side of the paper. <laughs> huh? I wasn't ready to share that yet, I'm so embarrassed! Monica flips over the paper. Written on the other side is a list of ideas for recruiting new club members. Oh, so this is what you meant to show me. But I'm curious now, do you write poetry often? I do, but I'm not, I, I'm sure I'm not anywhere near as good as you are. <laughs> really? I'm actually terrible at writing poetry. I've never written anything I was happy with. That's like every artist ever. Like, I always read it again a week after I write it, and I'm like, wow, this is so stupid. I don't know. It's like the dramatic version of me doesn't agree with the person I want myself to be. Or something like that. It's like every YouTuber ever, too. It's like you upload the video, and then yeah. ten seconds Ugh. later, you're like, Ugh. that yeah. is the worst video I've ever made. Right? Oh, this is I hate one. this. Actually, I don't feel that way anymore. I used in the early days I did, but at this point, I'm like, really? I'm really you happy. Feel with that way? Uh, I, there were a couple that I felt pretty insecure about, or I'm like, eh, that was like I have a good sense. I think at this point of like ones that I'm like, I'm proud of that one, and I was I'm like, yeah, that, that was, was fine. That was fine. Yeah. I, I, it, it met the level of quality that I needed it to be. Okay. okay but yeah, you know, not everyone can knock it out of the park. Not everyone is the worst thing ever. But like, I think a lot of, a lot of creative people have that kind of like self-censorship of like, oh, this sucks. Let yeah. me rewrite. And that's why you get caught in these kind of like perpetual loops of like having to write and rewrite and rewrite and yeah. rewrite or like redo, redo, redo. Also, if you don't hate your old art, you're not growing. <gasps> Ooh. Wow. That's deep. Yeah, really? writing that that poetry teacher told me that. Ha! <laughs> That's great. <laughs> it's great advice, though. I mean, like, truly, is, of is course it you're gonna. If you're gonna look back at the things that you made, of course you're gonna be like, I don't like that because you now have learned from the mistakes that you made when you made that. Thing. But you get not. Oh. Uh, do you mean not like in terms of just like see the errors in it, or, or like, like the, are embarrassed or, of it, or think it's uh, like stupid? Okay. Because it's like I, it's I wouldn't write that now because uh. I am older and wiser. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, like there was. I won a. I won a senior poetry contest at my high school. Yeah. And now, if I looked back at that poem, I'm sure I'd be like, "Eh, that was kind of cringe." Fair enough. All right, here. Let's let's try to get through the side story, shall we? Okay. Let's do it. Uh, you should have been more con. You should. You should have more confidence in yourself. You're the literature club president. <laughs> I guess you're not wrong there. I need to like set a good example or whatever. Hmm, you know, I can envision the club doing something like that. Doing what? You know, like sharing poems we write and stuff like that. Oh, yeah! Man, it's the origin story. I would love that! It's such a good way to learn about other people, you know? You know how everyone it's always... It's also interesting to see that, like, Sayori gave Monica, Monica all this confidence and ideas mm. in the beginning, and then Monica so deeply betrays her, you know? It's true. But is this is this connected to the main story? Like again, like it says that this is non-canonical to like, or it's it's it says it, it doesn't unrelated. say it's unrelated, which is an odd phrase. I it's, don't it's know. It's an odd way it's, to phrase it. It's it follows the same I know, general storyline though. Right. I'm curious to see how. Maybe it just I'm means they're standalone. I, I have a I feeling. Know. I have a feeling it's all going to come together. Yeah. That would be my guess. But no, I agree with you 100. percent Like, it's interesting to see. What seems like it should be a canonical 
prequel to this, right? Like, yeah. you know, what's coming beforehand. And that, yeah, a lot of those ideas and stuff are coming to, Mo yeah, Monica's underconfidence. They always giving her the confidence and then, yeah, Monica becomes control freak. Right. It's like, we have so many emotions that we can't express to other people usually, but you can when it's in a poem, right? Yeah. I think that's helping me form a more cohesive vision for the club. I'm so glad you showed me, well, even though it was, an, it was by accident. Me too! I felt embarrassed at first, but now it feels kind of good that someone else read it. I'll try to show you more of them in the future. I'd love that. Oh geez, I'm getting distracted. Do you want to go over this recruitment brainstorm together? My brain stormed so hard! Great. It was like a brain hurricane! Oh my gosh, the best. My brain is a natural disaster! Stop pulling your head. Ah, Sayori, that's terrible. Anyway, let's take a look at the list. Blech. Ugh, make cupcakes. Oh, that's a win. I was hungry. But it, it's a good idea, isn't it? Um, let me think about this. Don't you love group projects? This right. is the sort of contributions. I mean, when would we have the chance to give people cupcakes? Uh, all the time. You know, like, when they come into the club. What if we said we had free cupcakes on the flyers? Well, that's gonna attract Mitsuki. I'm, like, kind of worried that would bring the wrong kinds of people, you know? <laughs> wrong kinds? People would come just for the cupcakes and then leave. Come for the cupcakes. Oh, nobody would do that! Stay for the poetry. That would be mean. But, you know, I want to find people who are really into literature even if they don't know it yet. Let's see, the next thing on the list. Hunt for people reading books. Oh man, they are as full of good ideas. I don't think I get it. Like, going around the school and finding people who are reading books, you know? <laughs> like, in the morning or during lunch, <laughs> and we tell them to check out the literature club. That's amazing, I love that. Well, the problem with that is like, wouldn't most people reading books be doing it for an assignment or something? How would we know they're just reading for fun? Um, well, we could ask them. Great, I love Sayori not complicating that it at all. that would be bothering people who are trying to do schoolwork. I didn't think about that part, I'm sorry. Sayori, you're so stupid. What are you thinking? Hey, don't apologize. <laughs> you're coming up with a lot more things than I can. It's true. It's like I'm a mindless computer program or something. Wow, funny how like that I don't works. even have original thoughts. Oh my gosh, wow, go figure. Oh, your next idea is to hand out flyers rather than just putting them up on the wall. Mm. i definitely like to start doing that. I'm useful. Uh, I never said you weren't. I just need to think. What would we tell people when handing them out? It really, she really is just a blank computer program, isn't she? Just like, she needs all the input. I don't want to just be like, join the literature club. Let's figure out how we can better engage people. What if you told them about the club activities and stuff? That makes sense. What club activities? Uh, yeah, I guess it's supposed to be my job to come up with that, right? Yeah, super blank. It's really interesting. A vision for the club. Okay, Sayori, pretend you're a normal person for a second. Uh oh, wait, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> you know, uh, like a random passerby who's getting a flyer. How would you react to the idea of a literature club? Hmm. I like that this is a one woman show for you, by the way. Probably like, oh my God, I'm so exhausted. Probably like, literature is stupid. Oh, can you do that again? That was just delightful. Literature is stupid. Great. Thank you for that. I'm joining the anime club. The anime club. Really cool. What the heck? Uh, sorry, just thinking of a friend of mine. Huh. Okay, what if I said that we, like, do group reading and discuss it together? Man, Monica really knows how to sell. Man. Jesus, stick with the cupcakes, lady. I'm all aboard this train, friends. I would probably nap through that. That's you, Sayori. <laughs> and literally every 18-year-old school student. Right. Who's definitely of legal age. Yeah, but that doesn't really sound fun to most people anyway. Wait, Maybe? people, hold up. Hold up. Do people not, like, long series of thought-provoking discussions in their free time? 
Because that's what the channels have been built on for the last 10 years. Shoot. Damn it. I knew we were doing something wrong. Oh, what was I think? Oh, no. We should have been boxing. Uh, right? Or doing something fun that people enjoy. I found a great dog grooming channel the other day. Dog grooming. That's active and interesting. Yeah. Not long diatribes of research and analysis. Right. Although Drew Gooden does a good job. I, I watch him. He does long diatribes of research and analysis. But he's fun. Yeah, he's funny. We don't have that going for us. What if we offered people cupcakes? That would do it. Maybe we should give away cupcakes. 14 million cupcakes. Only for new subscribers. Cupcakes yeah. for new subscribers. Old subscribers. Oh, oh, yeah. Nothing. I don't know. But people which, just unsubscribe which honestly, and resubscribe. Well, hey, well, maybe that's good. Maybe that would just reactivate them in the algorithm. If you actually add up all the subscribers across the channels, it's like 30 million cupcakes. It's 28 million that cupcakes. That would take a, a minute. A lot of cupcakes. Yeah. That's you maybe if we make them very small. Teeny cupcakes. Yeah. Dot-sized cupcakes. Basically just candy dots. Oh, I love candy dots. 30 million candy dots. Great. Do you like candy dots? Oh, don't you start <laughs> with good. me, boy. They're good. Don't you start <laughs> like with me. Matthew likes, Matthew likes a lot of silly candy, but but I will defend his stance no. on, the, on the candy dots. Candy dots are half paper. Yeah, but that's fine. So? And also, not a, so, okay. I think the people, Your most points. of the, no, 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 most of the people who don't like candy dots, I think have the wrong candy dot technique going. If you're really concerned about the paper, here's what you do. You actually just like wet your fingers a little bit and run it along the back side of the paper. The, the water on the back side of the paper loosens up the candy dot and they pop right off without ever like dipping into or scraping up any of the paper. I don't, I don't want to eat a food that I need to strategize for. You just don't want to engage your brain. I see. I see how it is. It's fine. So he's also, not a literature no, club member. They're no. not good enough to do all of that work. It's just sugar and paper. I will admit, it's uh, a, they it's have a bit of flavors, a, thank you. It's a bit of a zero sum game by the, the time you get through all of that. Great. The blue, the blue ones are really good though. Blue yellow. Have you tried them in a while? When was the last time you had a candy? I dot? was probably like ten. Okay, it's worth, we got some it's mega worth another shot. Here, we have really? some. Okay. Yeah, we definitely. We of course we do. We have like so much candy. They're 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 fine. I prefer the the regular size dots. We also have those trolleys now. So anyway, okay. <laughs> don't you start. We're gonna have words after the stream. If, if we don't have time for words now. If we you're will have railing words on later. him, if you're railing on him about the Neckos, I'm all on board with you. I the candy dots, though, okay. I'm into. I'm into those. We all like weird, weird candy that no one else likes. Do you like a weird candy that no one else likes? Mine is bit of honey. I don't know what that is. Oh, 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 good. <laughs> it's it's a toffee candy with honey and a little little bit of nuts. Huh. Bit of honey. You ever Check had the, it out. the chewy sweet tarts? Ugh. The big ones? They're gross. Mmm, no, they're good. Yeah, I think they're gross. They're like teeth breaking in the best way. Great, hey, let's keep going. We need to get... We need to catch their interest, you know? Ugh, this sucks. Why is this so hard? Monica, don't be sad. What do you like about literature, Sayori? Me? Well, kind of what I said about the poem earlier. I think it gives you the chance to express yourself. Like, express yourself in ways you can't normally do. When you're just doing your normal day and talking to your friends. I mean, we all have so many thoughts and feelings that we just don't get to share, you know? Like my deep-seated depression. It's like, intimate. Whoa. Whoa, Whoa Sarah, calm down. Yeah. How do we get that across to people? Be intimate with us. We could be like, Join the literature club. Get intimate with us. Good. Why'd you have to take it there, Steph? <laughs> I was talking about intimate emotionally and you're immediately going to the carnal embrace. <laughs> we could be like, express your true self. Oh, she did it! <laughs> be intimate with us! There it is. Be intimate with us! Sayori and I. <laughs> I love it, I love it! Called it! I'm just really excited that the that it made the same joke I did. I feel validated. Clap you and a half dance. You and Dan Salvato. Salvato. Uh, that's great. <laughs> okay, that's kind of uh <laughs> just kidding! Oh my gosh. They are legal age though. Important note. Don't even think about saying they're not. They are. What? What is it? So that joke is perfectly appropriate and not creepy at all. Nope, definitely not. I, mean, I forgot all my things in my classroom. I must have gotten too excited and rushed here. Silly me. Rushed? 
but weren't? Ah, oh, oh, never mind. Did you want to get your stuff then? What, what just happened there? She, she was late to the club, yeah. and so Monica's like, hey, you forgot your stuff, and you rushed here, but you were already late. Yeah, so, okay. That's all. I'll forget it if I don't do it now. Uh, well, I'll wait for you then. Okay, it'll only take a second. Sayori dashes out of the room, leaving Monica momentarily <laughs> alone. Monica sighs and starts jotting her thoughts on a sheet of paper. Express yourself. <laughs> be who you want to be. Make new friends. Vomit. Discover a new you. Discover your heart. No. Write your heart out. <laughs> no. Write into your heart. Oof, rough pun. Uh, write the way into your heart. This is not the this is not mm. the right direction for you to be pursuing. Join the literature club. Write the way into your heart. Yeah. All right, I agree, Monica. Wow, oh. that's lame. There you go. Monica! Ah! You startled me. Uh, sorry! Uh, but it's something important! On the way to my classroom, there was a girl reading a book! Oh my god, that's great. Reading a book. Let's hurry and recruit her! Awesome. <laughs> I Wait, love it. are you sure she's not just doing homework? I could tell she was really into it! That's awesome. Um, well, I guess we could take a look. Monica grabs one of her flyers and stands up from her desk. Then the two depart the classroom with Sayori leading the way. This way! Uh, you don't have to run. Sayori leads Monica over to a particular classroom, then lowers her voice to a whisper. See? In there! <laughs> Spotting in the wild. Monica peers through the window. Sure enough, there's a girl sitting alone, intensely reading a book. Five bucks, that's Yuri. I, I, what? No! I mean, it could be Natsuki reading anime, fervently. No, because Natsuki knows uh, Sayori. Oh, that's true. I feel like a creep doing this. You should go inside and talk to her. Me? You're the president! And I'd probably scare her away. Okay, fine. I'll do it. Monica takes deep breath and timidly enters the classroom. That was fast! Oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. Why? What happened? Um, well, I entered the classroom, and she didn't even look up from her book. So I just kind of left the flyer on her desk and walked out. Ah! That's kind of cute! Blech. Then I'm sure she'll see it and want to join the club. I hope so. Shall we head back now? The two head back to the club room, Sayori feeling rather accomplished, and Monica still feeling a little bit embarrassed by her encounter. She really needs to find her confidence. She does, Monica. man. Upon return, someone crank up her confidence right? meter. Upon returning, Monica and Sayori resume their strategy meeting. They discuss various different kinds of recruitment tactics, from professional to silly. After going through Sayori's list, and with Monica coming up with ideas of her own, finally... Off screen, off screen. we the, don't even see it. The two end up in a better spot than from where they began. Well... I would say today was pretty productive, wasn't it? Yeah! I think we're starting to make progress! I can't wait to get some new members! Hey, what's this? Sayori peers at the sheet of paper Monica was jotting on earlier. Oh, don't mind that. I was just thinking to myself. Join the literature club! Right the way into your heart? That's so cute! Uh, I, I thought it was a little overdramatic. But... Sayori pauses and thinks for a moment. You know, I don't think you give yourself enough credit. What? What do you mean? Like, I don't know, I feel like I can tell from talking to you today. It seems like you're always afraid of doing something wrong. Yeah, but would you call yourself a perfectionist? Nothing wrong with that. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely am. I mean... I always have an idea in my head of how I want things to go, except for this literature club, for which I have zero zero, ideas. zero plan, clearly. So. And it's like, I can accept, I can't accept anything less than that, but I think in the end, it helps me try my hardest at everything. So I don't think it's that bad. Like with this club, we have such an opportunity to make it into exactly how we envision it. But it feels like we only have one shot at it. So I'm just really afraid of deviating from that, the vision. What's the vision? What is the vision? It's... Monica pauses to think, then shakes her head to herself. She sighs. 
I don't know. There it is. I just want everyone to... Puke. Blah. Monica trails off. Smiling, Sayori taps her finger against the sheet of paper. Right the way into your heart. Oh, man. I think that's what you're trying to do. Is to make a club that you need the most out of everyone. Beautiful. Well, you're the one who knows yourself best, of course. But I'm here to help you. Monica returns Sayori's smile. It's sort of amazing how kind you are. She is pretty great. We're really going to make this the best club ever. Sayori nods and the two remain silent for a moment, lost in thought. The only sound is the steady whisper of the air conditioner. And the only movement is the afternoon sunlight trickling its way in and out of the moving clouds. Sayori breaks the moment with a big yawn. <sighs> oh, oh, that turned into real wrong. It was. <laughs> Time to go home? You tell me you're the president. <laughs> in that case, today's meeting is officially over. I look forward to tomorrow. Sayori beams and grabs her things. You can go ahead. I need a few minutes still. Oh, I can wait. That's all right. I want some alone time. Hmm, in that case. Sayori waves enthusiastically at Monica. Good luck. Monica smiles and waves in return as Sayori spins her way out of the club room. All alone, she sighs to herself and takes a minute to zone out. She wasn't prepared for the self-reflection encouraged by Sayori, but she decides it was something she probably needed right about now. The club that I need the most. I don't get it. I just wanted to start a club with more passion. Something that I could use to help lead people to happiness. Literature is the key to that. Is it? Is it? Because it's the window to the real person inside of us. I mean, that's true. That's fair. Underneath the person who is forced to always smile and blend in. The person who's forced to be perfect. Oof. Deep. Hmm? Monica suddenly notices a folder on the floor by her desk. Did Sayori leave this behind? I hope it doesn't have her homework in it. Worried, Monica opens the folder to check. Poems? It's a folder of poems. Become the flower. A feeling of joy is a flower plucked from the ground. The color, the scent, it's so pretty in my hair. Every day I pluck some flowers as though they grew just for me. A lifetime of peace and nourishment yanked away in an instant. All for me. All for joy. I need more. I need more joy. I need more happy. Pluck, pluck, pluck every day. Pluck, pluck, pluck. So pretty in my hair. Pluck, pluck, pluck. You're going to die. And you too. Beneath my feet a flower stands alone. It beckons to me. I twist the stem, freeing it from its clinging roots, caressing the final joyous moment between my fingers. But to what ends? I look in every direction, and the field I stand in, the prosperous field, is a barren wasteland, the fruits of my labor, the carnage of my joy, and that is why I've decided I must become the flower. That gives your interpretation. Love it. Yeah. Brilliant. That poetry class is paying off more and more by the minute. Yeah. Your, All right. Your Please. insight on each poem just is resoundingly I, uh, apt. It's hard to hate poetry. You know, people are being honest. Uh-huh. Also, it, I liked her use of plain language. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I like that that's your go -to. Plain language. Good, solid plain language. You're a spoken <laughs> plain word language. man. There, there were words on that page. I understood all those words. No flowery words. Yeah. Except for the words well, that were literally flowers. That's the thing is that she doesn't need flowery words. No. Mm -hmm. uh, other than the word flower. Right. Mm -hmm. Obviously. In which case, yeah, it was an important image in that one. All honestly. right, all right. People. I liked that one. Here. How's that? Yeah, I liked that one. Oh, okay, okay, okay. What the? Wait! Sayori! Hmm. Wow, perfect timing. Perfect timing. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, so Ooh, did now... That unlo oh, that unlocked part two. Unlocked part two of the trust okay, so, side story. Okay, so now we see how this is going to go. When, when, we, oh, when we do a poem for each person, it's going to unlock part one of their side story and then we do part one for each and then it unlocks a part two for mm -hmm. and those are then the six right maybe maybe we'll see hmm. who do what else did we get oh we got a monica finish the side story trust one okay okay so that's a new one what else did we get any other new ones we got new poems and that's about it for there okay music we got new music new music monica's first poem do we have yuri's natsuki's so and from okay poems from the side stories right and then music. Which one's is this the new one? 
These would be great background music while you're working. It's true, right? That's why you can add them to a playlist. That's really cool. Huh? Any mail yet? No, no mail. No mail. Hmm. Interesting. All right, so we got a side story. We got another new side I'm story. I'm so excited about this. This is, cool. this is really fun. This is fun. I need to do some ab exercises or something because, man, the, all that talking, I'm like, I'm, I'm exhausted. I know. It takes so much air to do Sayori and Yuri. All of them. If only they all projected from the diaphragm. So anyway, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go get buff, and then I'll be back to okay. do this more of these episodes. Steph's gonna go do some push-ups and sit-ups. Right. I'm gonna go do some other work. Uh, <laughs> I need to get to the point where my abs can be buff again. And huh, interesting. Next time, I think we'll do side story. The side story too. Yeah. If we have time, we'll continue a poem. I also really want to test out the time mechanic. I want to change the date or the time yes. of the of the computer. I think that's a great to idea. To see if that yields anything, because I'm really curious about that. So that'll be coming up next time as we continue Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. And Matt will continue to give us deep insight into all the poems that are happening on screen. So make sure you take that college course, summer course in poetry analysis to understand this series, guys, because otherwise like Matt. you're not going to be big brained enough to get any of this. <clears throat> and in the meantime, remember, it wasn't a live stream, but it was a video, a video for you. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.